So in this video we're going to do example 4 and 5, picking candy with replacement, picking candy without replacement. We're going to use this container here, it's a funny shape. And um, this container contains 4 red candies and 3 green candies. Okay, I'll prove it to you. Here's 4 red, here's 3 green. Pick a candy without looking and record the color. Put the candy back in the container, replace it, and then choose another candy. Okay, then answer these questions. Are the two events independent? What is the probability of getting a red candy both times? You, by all means, press pause and solve this right away, and then fast forward the video and check your answer if you want to. But I'll just go through what they're talking about. So we got these candies in the container. Okay. And I pick one without looking. I'm not looking. I'm going to pick one. And I got a red, right? But now I'm going to put the candy back in the container, pick it up, pick one without looking, I'm not looking, and I got a green. Okay, so that's that's what's happening. Now what's the probability of getting a red candy both times? Okay, so first of all, let's tackle this. Are the two events independent? Okay, so the answer to that is, what do you think? Are they independent? The two events are picking a candy, and then you replace it, and then you pick pick it again. Okay, so two events are, are, are two picking the candy out twice. Picking the candy out, you know, doing it twice. Um, so are they independent? The answer is yes they are because whatever you get in the first um, pick does not alter your probability of the next pick. Okay, so the reason is um, the probabilities are not changed by either event, okay? Are not changed or altered by the results of either event, okay? So whether I get, say I get a green on the first go, I'm putting it back in anyway, and so I could just as likely get another green or just as likely get a red, but there's no change in the probability. So so we'll, we'll show you what that means. So, so what's the probability of getting a red candy both times? Well, let's see. There's four reds. I'll show you again. Four reds and three greens. So the probability of getting a red the first time is four out of... How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? But I replace it. I replace it. And then what's the chance of getting a red one a second time? Also four out of seven. Okay? Okay, so they're independent events, so I just multiply the probabilities. Four times four is sixteen. Seven times seven is uh, forty-nine, right? A container uh, example five now we'll do just to compare. A container uh, contains four red candies and three green. Same thing again. Pick a candy without looking and record the color. Do not put the candy back in the container this time. Then choose another candy. Are the two events independent? What's the probability of getting a red candy both times? I'm just going to do the probability first this time. So this is in the container. Four reds and three greens. What's the probability of getting a red the first time around? Well, there's seven altogether, so it's four out of seven. Agreed. But we also want to. So, but we. So, but we. So we've picked a red. Imagine we picked a red. Now, what's the probability of getting a red candy on the next turn? Now, remember, this time we did not put the candy back in the container. So, imagine we got a red one, and we didn't put the candy back in the container. What's the probability of getting a red candy this time? Well, it would be, now we have to get red the next time, which probability is 3 out of 6, right? So that's the probability of getting red candy both times. Um, because you have to get one on the first go, and you have to get one on the second go, right? Now if we simplify this, 2 into 2 goes twice, 2 into that goes 3 times, and we can, 3 into 3 goes once, 3 into that goes once. And this time it is 2 over 7, right? 
So the last time was 16 over 49, which is almost 14 over uh, 7, or almost 2 over 7. But if we do that in a calculator, 16 over 49, that's 0. Point, uh, about 0. 0.33, 3, we'll just round it. And two sevens on the calculator. Zero point two nine. We'll just round that to about zero point two nine, right? So if we replace it, it's different than if we don't replace it. Agreed? Because if we replace it, then the next turn the chance is four over seven. If we don't replace it, the answer is or the this this the probability of our second time is three over six, right? So in any case, are these events independent? No, because the probability of the second event has been changed, okay, from 4 over 7 to 3 over 6, because we didn't replace the candy, okay? Um, and we can still multiply probabilities, though, but... but um, We've just got to make sure to, to, to do our subtraction here and, and that instead of four sevens we've got three six basically. So